Hello everyone and uh, hi IUTC uh, alumni of, uh, all over the world. Uh, my name is Tevin Nim of EcoVisioner in Korea. Uh, I will introduce the topic of eco-friendly organic farming and the correct use of microorganisms. Today, I will introduce you to change of the, the agricultural paradigm, understanding of microbes, and uh, the current use of microorganisms uh, for eco-friendly organic farming. And I am a very honored to have uh, such a place. Then uh, let's start uh, with the uh, uh, change in the agricultural paradigm. As you know, uh, humanity is uh, developed a uh, civilization through various uh, changes uh, with the development of technology. Uh, due to the development of uh, transportation and uh, communications, uh, the global villages share all of today's news. Uh, it is as if one family lives. Uh, so what about the agricultural environment? As everyone knows, when there was no awareness of crops, livestock, and the environment. They lived a small-scale nomadic life of gathering and hunting uh, within the limits of nature. Since then, as the unit of settlement and living size increased, and the stable supply of food became necessary, uh, and until the end uh, end of the 1900s. Chemical or petroleum agriculture focused on uh, chemical fertilizers and pesticides was carried out to increase yield and improve quality. As a result of chemical farming, the soil became desolate, the cities cropping was failed, and various diseases and pests occurred. However, uh, since the 2000s, the quality of life has improved, interest in healthy and safe food has increased, and the agriculture centered on the nature ecosystem that minimizes the use of chemical fertilizer and pesticides is emerging. According to IPOM, IPOM operate from International Federation of Agriculture, uh, Organic Agriculture Movement. Uh, that statistics, there were 236 countries farming around the world, of which the number of countries pursuing organic farming and the area of organic farming are steadily increasing. In this regard, the production and the consumption markets of organic agriculture products are also showing in on increase. What agricultural products will you eat and will produce? The mark you see is given by various countries around the world for the certification of organic products. Agricultural technology are developing based on the amplification of interest in eco-friendly organic farming and the convergence with other technology that are developing, but there is no education or alternative to the method for preserving the natural ecosystem. In the case of smart farming, which is rapidly developing in recent years, it is attempting to converse with technologies such as big data, ICT, and IoT uh, for the convergence, uh, convenience and the systematic of agricultural management, but does not present an alternative for the natural ecosystem. Agriculture that values the natural ecosystems should minimize the use of petroleum and chemical products and use organic fertilizer and microorganisms properly. What do you think of when it comes to microorganisms? Uh, let me talk about it. Microorganisms have so far been considered very unfamiliar to us. Uh, however, uh, the recent interest in intestinal microbes 
agent and fermented food from the world famous Longobit village. And there are many different fermented foods that we have not been aware of, but have been consuming for a long time. In this way, it can be said that microbes have lived very closely with us without knowing. Uh, from the time we were born from a mother. In other words, nature, natural ecological farming is about using microorganisms while thinking about nature, just as we have consumed microorganisms while thinking about our health. There are many microbial products on sale now, and some of you may have tried it. However, there are many cases that it was not used properly due to misunderstanding of a microbial product. From now, I will take a moment to solve the misunderstanding even a little. Uh, let's take the Olympics that everyone knows about it. Uh, there are various sports uh, in the Olympics and the participating countries compete for the championship by selecting athletes for each event. A uh, kind of player who wins 100 meters of athletes also win the purple as well. Of course, although the player can play soccer well, but she will not be better than a player who specialized in soccer that has already been selected. Likewise, all microorganisms have their own characteristic and laws and proper use, proper usage and understanding are required in order to utilize them well. First of all, uh, let me tell you a word for thinking about microorganisms. Microorganisms are absolutely not fertilizer. It's just like people can live with natural nutritional supplements instead of eating rice, bread, uh, or equivalent main food. One of the rules of microorganisms in agriculture is to increase the efficiency of fertilizers to reduce the usage and to compensate for insufficient nutrients. This means that neither organic fertilizer nor chemical fertilizer are sufficiently absorbed by the crop preventing nutrition such as nitrogen, potassium, and a phosphate from accumulating in the soil, resulting in soil deterioration. It also serves to transform the crop in a form that is to absorb. As you can see in the picture, so what did you do is when there were signs of abnormality in the, in the internal organs such as in digestion of abdominal pain. Would you like to take medicine or intestinal probiotics to prevent disease? It is true that taking the medicines works fast and it's good. However, if you continue to use drugs with disease functions, uh, your body will become resistant to drugs and will require the higher doses or stronger drugs. Finally, the drugs may not work. The same thing, microorganisms are usually used to improve immune function and to develop resistance to disease. So they are used continuously and should not be expected to be effective quickly. In other words, microbes are not for treatment, but for prevention. There are a lot of people here named Michael. Would everyone have the same abilities just because they had the same name? As you can see, singer Michael Jackson, basketball player Michael Jordan, Harvard professor and writer Michael Sander, and the actor Michael Douglas are examples of their talents in various fields. Microorganisms are the same. Uh, here are some lactic acid bacteria uh, that are said to be good 
per humans. However, not only are the types of lactic acid diverse, and even if they are the same species, it must be confirmed whether they are just ordinary lactic acid bacteria, as well as the name of people, and whether they have excellent functions of each. In conclusion, you shouldn't think that the microbes will have the same name and will form, perform well-known functions. You must choose a microorganism that has a function that can uh, serve the reason you want to use it. So is the growth of the number of people who use these good microorganisms and the development of the industry slow? The answer is because of the, the limitations of microbial products, the microbial industry. Most of the products are, are we use take a long time to produce, distribute, store, and use. Uh, if the product has a short shelf life, or it is a living thing, the quality may be degraded and it may not be usable. So, Microbial manufacturers produce general microbes that have a small change in quality and that can perform a variety of functions rather than a single feature. Uh, in the end, consumers are using microbial products that are of low quality or have no special function for the cost of purchase, resulting in a buildup of distrust. Of course, there are companies that develop and manufacture excellent microorganisms, but it is not easy to keep the refrigerated and the frozen conditions from distribution to use. Unlike other general industrial products, the movement of microorganisms between countries does not have common regulations, and there are various restrictions for each country. Uh, which means that the overall development of the microbial industry is slow. So is there any way to effectively use the microbes essential for eco-friendly organ farming? No, you just need to overcome the problem and solve the misunderstanding about microorganisms that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this requires the efforts of both the microbial manufacturers and the users. First, microbial manufacturers must develop functional microbes according to the needs and wants of the agricultural environment and evaluate and demonstrate efficacy. In addition, it is important to present to correct use to increase the microbial efficiency. Next, consumers need to know exactly what they want and need before using the microorganisms. And they need to know that it is effective to use them continuously, not only once. I hope that even a reader has helped you to understand the microbes and will talk about the correct use of microbes for eco-friendly organic farming. Uh, there is one of the most efficient and economical methods of all microbial products and the methods so for the correct use of microorganisms. It is the microbial culture system. As you can see, uh, there should be a variety of microorganisms that have been proven to function. And there must be a differentiated medium that allows microorganisms to cultivate it well and to produce a lot of good materials. Finally, it is composed of a fermenter that anyone can easily and cultivate the desired microorganisms. We call this differentiated microbial culture system is a select system. It means that cultivation of microorganisms is possible depending on the, on the activity of microorganisms and the various choice of consumers. 
consumers only need to determine their needs and wants, amount of microorganisms, and date of use, and just waiting one to two days. Highly functional active microorganisms will be produced in select fermenter. For more detailed information on the SELECT system, search EcoBusiness and SELECT on YouTube. Microorganisms with excellent functions and good activities can realize natural circulation and eco-friendly organic agriculture. First, the major role of microorganisms in agriculture are soil improvement, crop growth promotion, and disease control. And the major role microorganisms in the organic waste recycling industry is environmental improvement and the resource quality improvement. Mm. Lastly, the major role of microorganisms in aquaculture and livestock are environmental improvement, feed addition, and disease control. As you can see in the figure, even if you use microorganisms in only one place among agriculture, livestock, and recycling industries, you can receive the help of microorganisms in order. For example, after feeding, feed with added microorganisms to livestock. The resulting packers contain microorganisms, and these packers help fermentation of compost and liquor manure after moving to a recycling facility. And the fermented compost and the liquor manure, uh, it is spread on farmland again to help improve soil and grow crops. In addition, waste plants generated after crops are harvested can contain microorganisms and can be used uh, as feed again to feed livestock. Uh, for reference, crop and seed selection and climate are important factors in agriculture, but soil is probably the most important factor. Uh, therefore, if you determine the amount of fertilizer and select microorganisms, they can help you through soil analysis before using microorganisms you will be able to increase the efficiency of microorganisms, reduce the amount of fertilizer, and successfully harvest agricultural products. The following will show various examples of microbial culture system apply. In Korea, the use of microorganisms has been actively promoted by the government policy since 20 years ago. Uh, already about 150 out of 156 regions provide microbial supply services. And the microbial culture system has been applied. This is um, the microbial culture plant of the Agricultural Technology Center in Jeonju, Jeollabukdo, which is operated based on the policy fund of the Korea government and the farming situation in the region. 200 tons micro of microorganisms are produced annually and distributed to a total of 5,227 hectare farmland and 7,137 farms. Uh, target crops are rice, barley, uh, root crops, and special crops. There are microbial permitters, refrigerated warehouses and tanks, and automatic distribution systems for efficient measurement of microbial supply as facility inside the microbial culture plant of the Agricultural Technology Center. Of course, uh, all of our facilities were applied. In addition to supplying them, we also provide guidance on the efficient use of microorganisms, and we are conducting projects to enhance the understanding of microorganisms in farmers. 
Here is the United States case. A fertilizer com production company has installed and operated three intelligence parameters to produce new microbial products and upgrade products on site. Uh, this the case in our business model where a fertilizer producer uh, directly produce microorganisms using a microbial system. The next is the New Zealand case. Uh, fertilizer producer installs and operates one intelligent parameter to produce new products in the livestock market. It corresponds to business expansion among our business model. Next is case of Thailand. They have installed and operated 19 intelligent, intelligent parameters uh, in the shrimp farm to cultivate microorganisms for water purification and disease prevention. It corresponds to the application of microorganisms in the, in the aquaculture field among our business model. Finally, uh, it is a case of Vietnam. We have installed and operated microbial culture facilities near the Gucci and Gunter City for eco-friendly farming, demonstration tests, and research. Our Vietnam subsidiary operates a culture facility directly. Microorganisms cultivated in microbial culture facilities are delivered directly to neighboring farms and research facility in an activated state with a strategy. The examples of application of various microbial culture systems that have been introduced so far have suggested the directions for the microbial industry in the future. The change of perception of consumers and the manufacturers due to the limitation of microorganisms will be applicable in various situations such as B2C, B2B, and B2G. Uh, that is all, and I will conclude the introduction of eco-friendly organic farming using various active microorganisms. I ask you to actively use microorganisms to save crops and the environment and we'll share more information next time if I get a chance. Our company, EcoBizNet, located in Gangwon province of Korea. Also, if you have any questions about microbial culture system uh, and uh, want to cooperate with us, please feel free to contact us. We always open to you. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.